about other uh, difficult populations. I mean, one that comes to my mind is when the question of domestic violence is in the air. In the more extreme situations, the mothers are living in shelters with their children, and the fathers are like nowhere to be found. And that's, you know, clearly, I mean, the mothers are really distraught. The kids are don't know what to make of the situation and, um, and, and uh, are often scared and so forth. But that, that's kind of the ex more the extreme. Yeah. Um, I was, I'm, have been working with one family. It's a family that I've known for quite a number of years. And things kind of, you know, degenerated. And there, was, there wasn't actual violence, but there was the threat of violence. The mother felt threatened. Um, and they were still living in the same house. Um, and so there, and, and the kids, uh, there were th three children, and one of them was doing horribly um, with this. Um, so this is kind of, you know, first things first. So the, I think my responsibility there was first to try to make sure that the mother was safe. And then is, you know, all the rest, which is a lot, which is the fallout um, for the kids and can we get the kids into some sort of, you know, help. Um, and, uh, and that's not always easy uh, at all because you have, these kids are like 12, 13, I mean, they don't want to talk to anybody. Right. Um, and I, I actually find that um, it really the most difficult part. I mean, there I feel like I'm working through the responsible parent.